Hey everybody, it's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net. Right now I'm happy to be joined by St. John's reliever Thomas Hackner. Thanks for joining me. I'm uh, glad to be here. First of all, you're in your senior year at playing uh, at St. John's, playing for the Red Storm. Can you tell me about your time here so far? Uh, it's been a lot of fun. It uh, was not quite the journey I expected. It's been really great overall. Wouldn't trade it for anything. At first, coming into St. John's, you weren't even a pitcher, and you were an infielder. Can you tell me about what the adaption was like because of uh, no empty spots in the infield? The adaption coming over to pitch here. Uh, well, it was uh, interesting. I had been an infielder all throughout high school. I pitched zero innings. Uh, I came here. They wanted me to pitch because uh, there were no real spots in the infield, like you said. Uh, I went out to the bullpen, and they immediately uh, dropped me down to the lower arm slot that I throw from now. Uh, and it was a tough transition at first, but what really helped was actually the fact that I had never pitched before and I wasn't fighting old mechanics or anything like that. Right now you have the lowest ERA in the Big East, .21. You've only given up uh, one earned run in almost 50 innings pitched this season, and you've got 57 strikeouts. Can you please tell me about what it's been like this year to be so dominant and your mindset coming up to face new hitters? Uh, mindset's always the same. It's uh, I can beat this guy. He's not better than me. Uh, and then executing the pitches based on that. I uh, really worked a lot on making sure that my slider and fastball, my two-man pitches, uh, look the same coming out of my hand, so they're much harder to distinguish, uh, which I think has helped a lot this year. Last year, you were selected in the 15th round of the Major League Baseball draft by the New York Mets, but you turned it down to play one more year here for the Red Storm. What does it mean to you and take me through the decision of coming to play one more year of collegiate ball? Uh, it, was, it was a very complicated decision, a lot of factors that went into it, uh, but uh, what it came out to is I came back here, I don't regret it at all, uh, and this, uh, playing in a collegiate environment is something that uh, nothing else really compares to the camaraderie with your teammates. Uh, it's something that I would never have been able to get back that last year if I had uh, taken the offer. Uh, in 2015, you played for the Whitecaps of the Cape Cod League. The Cape Cod League, obviously, a very decorated league. Can you tell me about what it was like to play in this league full of pro players? Uh, it was a much different experience. It was great to see uh, all these guys from these big SEC schools, and then you have guys from more mid-major schools like myself, guys from D2s, uh, and just the quality of talent all throughout the league was incredible. Last season you were the sixth best reliever in all of collegiate baseball. You were an all Big East member and all you went all American. Can you please tell me what it's like to get these recognitions? Uh, it was, I was uh, always hopeful for them uh, when they were starting to come out, uh, but actually getting them and hearing my name put on those lists was, it was incredible. Uh, especially considering where I started from. All right, thank you very much.